Wow, so I've literally just found a find that had me pretty much shaking. Um, so I've been out in the sun, I am warm, but it's been quite a nice day. And let me tell you, it has been quite a good charity shop haul. Um, I've done a few like buys from the car boot and the charity shop within the last few weeks. Um, mostly selling to be fair as well. And I'll be honest, they've not really been that good of hauls to show you guys. There's been a few decent things, definitely worthy. Um, like there's a pair of shoes that I bought for like six or seven pounds. Um, and I sold those for 30. There were some Nike shoes. So yeah, it's been all right. Um, I mean, I've not valued these games, so I'm just going to kind of go out there. So I'm pretty sure Frozen Olaf goes for more than two quid. Um, but it's a game that I don't have in my collection, so for two quid I picked that up. There's also Tracy Beaker, uh, another game I don't have in my collection, uh, that was a quid, so I picked that up. And Toy Story, another game I've not got in my collection. This actually looks quite fun though, <laughs> so I, I'm probably going to actually try and play this. It looks a bit like Carnival Games um, for the, the Wii or the DS. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to start off randomly these were from a loros near me uh so they're the nike react uh, i think they're called like three something or others like 350s are they oh, i don't know um they look a bit squish but it's just how the shoes are they'll need uh padding and stuff just for the photo these were six pounds fifty um i think I don't know actually how much you charge me for them because they want there wasn't actually a price tag on them when I looked at them originally. Yeah, he just put six fifty on them. So yeah, there we go. I mean, it's not too bad. I wouldn't really have liked to pay more than five pounds, but at the same time, they are Nike, so they'll sell pretty well. I'm gonna probably try like minimum of fifteen on vintage. Um, so yeah, there was also this Ralph Lauren top. It says it's a size six. <laughs> I am, to be fair, I am a size 6. It does look about right. Now, uh, funnily enough, it looks like the Tracy Beaker shirt. Uh, speaking of Tracy Beaker, but yeah, it was £1.50. It looks to be genuine. Um, the stitching's all very nice in the top there. I did pick one up the other day that I thought was genuine and I paid a pound for it from a car boot and it wasn't um, because it didn't have the tags down the bottom there. But yeah, it's got the Portugal, made in Portugal and then the serial codes there. There's two tags i can't even pick stuff up because i'm still thinking about that gucci find i'm like oh, yes anyway i've just given the game away now i'll you gotta wait till the end for that one so yeah i'm gonna put that to the side um in laura i found like a few little bits um mainly for just jewelry making for myself so this was a pound um and it's very 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 heavy i always like to look through laura's jewelry because they don't always check it um, this says Lola Rose on it. Uh, I don't know if it's a good brand, but I'm probably going to just cut it up. So I picked it up mainly because of these blue sparkly uh, crystals here. Um, I can't remember what they're called, but I want to make them into a really cute bracelet. Although to be fair, it's quite cute how it is already. Um, so yeah, there was that. That was a pound. Um, there was like these little like Pandora-esque style charms. Um, which I'm going to put on some bracelets. They were up to £2. Uh, so yeah. Uh, there was this, which was actually 50p. I thought this was absolutely stunning. And you can't even tell on the on the, on the the camera how amazing these are. But these are the most fiery coloured orange. And they are absolutely stunning. 50p was a bargain for that. It looks like it's homemade. It says Alex and An Annie. Uh, US and then it's got like uh, infused with plus energy technology so it's like some hippie sort of thing I think from like group 66 that is my guess it makes some really cute earrings though <laughs> but I don't have my ears pierced so there we go there's that um, I picked these up because they're actually quite expensive normally uh, these were a pound and they are they are basically they're like stone um, bracelets, so these are, oh that one I didn't realise has a bit of a chip out of it, but these are like jade 
and uh, quartz I'm guessing. Why does everything look so orange and sparkly? I don't know, but there's that. I'm literally not even this colour. It looks like I've put a fake tan on, but I'm not. This is the natural lighting in here for some reason. Um, and my camera I'm guessing. So yeah. The next thing I picked up, I basically was looking through and I always look through detailedly and I saw this cute cat. Um, is it a cat? Oh, it is. Oh my God, it's actually a cat. Um, I thought it was a squirrel at first. And basically I picked it up because it said Thomas, well, it had like some text around it. So I thought, oh, and I thought, oh, I'll have a look. And it actually says Thomas Sabo, which these charms I'm pretty sure go for a minimum of about 20 pounds. So it will be silver. And this was 50p. Sadly, the cat is missing part of his leg. Um, but yeah, it's got the, there's some text basically printed there. It says Y-E um, T-S for the Thomas Sablo. And then A, I think it's A-G-G, -G, uh, A-G-20, uh, 95 so basically silver um but that was 50p and i was like i'm not gonna leave that so that's cool uh these are something i found in the charity shop a while ago and they've been sat there and then they were put out the back for a bit um and they wanted 12.99 originally for them they put them back out and they are a size 12 they are studio london collabs and they were six ninety nine this time, and I thought I'm gonna give a go, have a go at selling them. They are kind of funky though. Like I feel like I could probably rock those, but they are seriously cool. Um, just a bit unique, you know. I like, I quite like that. Yeah. Um, like those. I bought some lint rollers from B and M Home Bargains because I am covered in cat fur, as you can probably tell which is fun um i didn't actually buy much at the start the first charity shop is so expensive now and i don't really i go in there but i don't ever buy anything um so i found this king of dreams jumper uh which was really cool it's probably been sat in the charity shop for quite a few weeks now but it was in the ladies section with like the older grannies sort of style jumpers um and i'm pretty sure it was like six or seven pounds not that long ago people haven't picked it up because it's cracked but i don't know whether that's actually the style of it but for three pounds um i quite liked it so i mean i've picked it up so why not um and then i think this was two pounds uh so this yeah yeah oh it was three pounds so it's basically just your standard bog standard nike um jumper the medium one and it's pink with the night tick on um very nice lightweight one actually which is nice and then it's got all your gobbins in terms of tags there and your little nike um thingy down the bottom there so i'm gonna try and sell this for like maybe 10 to 12 pounds um yeah it looks cool i quite like it myself but oh actually <laughs> no no i'm not gonna keep it but yeah there we go um so this was the gucci item that i was telling you guys about i saw these in the cabinet and i thought oh they're kind of funky and cool i'm gonna put them on my head now and show you how small my head is so these what i'm wearing at the moment are like some elton john sunglasses um and these are kids ones yeah um and when i put things like this on yeah it's actually wider than my head <laughs> so even if i wanted to wear something so cool like this and bug eyed oh actually they're not too no they are big they're massive but they're not too bad i actually really like them i think they're really cool and like bougie um so these oh god i'm still shaking because normally the good way to tell sunglasses if they're real i think they are because they are very weighty the plastic's like that nice ray-ban plastic that's all i can describe it as so if you've got a pair of really nice ray-bans you'll know the plastic um so they've got actual screws here um and normally that's a good indicator that something's genuine it said gucci here and i was like nah and then it says gucci made in italy there so i was like okay let's have a look at the serial code but 
I don't know whether Gucci glasses should have a G before them. So if you guys know, let me know. I paid, what did I pay for these? I paid £3.50 for them. And they actually say Gucci in the bottom there. I really can't, it's really hard to show you guys. But they, I think they, oh no they don't, no they don't. They're just slightly um, scratched, I thought they did. But they don't look bad. And honestly, the like sort of level of detailing in there, they could be real, I don't know. So um, yeah, if you guys know anything, please do let me know. That is, oh, that is engraved. That is actually engraved. So they could be real. They look really nice anyway. Hey. <laughs> I look like, uh, what's that? Honey G, <laughs> that's it. Uh, but I thought they were really nice. So, I mean, I don't know what to think. I don't know whether they're real or not, but they were £3.50. So I was not gonna take the risk and leave them behind for said price. Um, I think, the arm yeah it definitely needs tightening it's a little bit loose and um but a lot of like designer sunglasses do do that like my ray-bans uh not my ray-bans uh my zadig and zoltair i think it's called uh they have like screws there that i have to tighten quite regularly because they just get so loose um so yeah they were cool um yeah think of them what you will if you do know please leave a comment let me know um because it is really hard to tell oh by the way update so that gucci not gucci the burberry bag that i had in the back i actually got it um it's like on this wall like behind me um so basically i got it authenticated turns out it's a genuine one and it's worth about 350 to i've seen them go for about 500 but it depends on the condition um so mine from what apparently it said it's an outlet bag so it doesn't always have the um the serial code underneath it um but they said on the authentication thing that it is real so oh my gosh i have a real burberry bag that like blown my mind and i paid 10 pound for it so i'm kind of at the dilemma now of i love it but uh, i don't need it do you know what I mean? And I'm like, do I sell it? Do I not? So when you guys get to this point, do you get rid of things or do you keep them? Because um, that is the dilemma you have as a reseller. Um, you just don't want to get rid of things. But then at the same time, you're like, money, holiday, new sofa. Yes, please. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you do ever want to see any more videos, just like keep commenting and post below because I don't know if you guys actually like them or not. So yeah, thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.